we're going to take a shot at a hard steel target with the 5.56 millimeter 62 grain full metal jacket M855 penetrator otherwise known as the NATO green tip. So what do I mean by hard steel? All materials have some type of standard or scale or measurement to determine their thickness, density, composition, hardness, whatever it may be. That could be a sheet of paper, a uh, piece of wood, concrete, plastic, diamonds, or in this case steel. I'm going to refer to Brunel, which is the standard of measurement used for determining the hardness of steel. Now, on a scale of say 0 to 1000, this quarter inch piece of welding steel, which I used in another video, the same cartridge, 62 grain green tip, and at 80 yards we punch through, as you can clearly see, all the way through at 80 yards. I didn't want to give the impression that this cartridge is going to punch through all types of steel, so that's another reason why I've posted this test. Now, this 12 inch disc that we're looking at is from Mike Gibson Targets. Mike Gibson and other companies are making targets at 500 Brunel, which is equivalent to armor plating. I'll be using the Bushmaster 24 inch barrel for this shot. By the way, this impact is from a 400 yard hit with the Remington AccuTip 55 grain. This is one of the targets I used in the 400 yard scope cam video. Now that's a plastic tip bullet so it didn't even scratch it, but if I'm using NATO or 55 grain or other other bullets at 200, 400 yards on these targets, it's not even scratching the surface. 100 yards make a little bit of a difference and what I think will happen at 80 yards with the green tip, and I'll be aiming in this area here, is that we're going to have a pretty decent crater, but I don't think we're going to get full penetration, and I expect this bullet just to shatter all to pieces. We'll have a camera set up to give you a close-up. This steel plate with a Brunel hardness factor of 500 is just way too much for the 5.56, even with the green tip and its steel core bullet. I've got a pretty decent crater. Here's some perspective regarding diameter. You can see that the shell fits in there quite nicely. As far as depth, I'm going to say maybe an eighth of an inch, probably no more than that. Didn't even dimple the back of the target, just knocked the paint off. Looks like some of the copper jacket is, is down in there as it exploded on this at over 3,000 feet per second. So every caliber has this limitation. This is where it stops for the 5.56 five, is steel that's on the par of armor plating. This is something I don't recommend you try. One, it's going to destroy your target. Two, it's not really a safe thing to do shooting bullets uh, this close at steel this hard. So I've done it for you. Now you don't have to do it yourself. Thanks for watching.